Hello again, it's Cons, and today for you I have a method to farm Raging Brachidios' parts quite easily. I've spoken to quite a few people and they've all told me that they're having a really tough time with the fight. Uh, and that they're sort of resorting to defensive means, defensive sets, the fight's taking a long time and that randoms are dying and all that. So I thought I'd give you a nice, easy, solo, quick way to farm as many parts as possible. It's going to be based around the Plunder Blade. However, the Plunder Blade isn't sufficient because it does not net you the warheads as far as I can tell. It also grabs you the immortal reactors really slowly. So I'm going to eat for feline bombardier, which should maybe give you some indication of what exactly I'm going for. Uh, I'm going to be running stickies. I'm going to be using stickies and sleep ammo on my aqua shot to take out Brachidios' head pounder, whilst using my cat's plunder blade to sort of net up a few more parts. I'm also going to be grabbing shinies dropped by Brachidios after head flinches. Uh, I'll show you these all in detail in a bit, but for now we'll take a look at the items we're bringing. Um, most of these aren't really essential. What's important here are the combines for sticky ammo, uh, which you can see I've brought with me, uh, as well as sleep ammo if you have the aqua shot. Now the set I'm using is actually kind of hyper optimized, but you don't need it to be, and you'll see why sort of as as I commentate the the hunt and the method. But uh, yeah, here's the set that I'm using. You really don't need anything to be far this optimized. You can see I'm actually using brachidium, so don't 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 worry about it. Again, you'll see why in a second. And uh, just to clarify what my cat is doing. Here is the cat, it's using the plunder blade and then just some generic armor. I've given it a sleep weapon because I like to put Brachidios to sleep, but it's not particularly important. You just need that plunder blade. But uh, yeah, I will go into more details when I'm in the hunt. So for this first attempt, I'm not going to actually be doing things optimally. Right now I'd be buffing up with might seeds and stuff before I get there. But uh, what I'm just going to do is grab out my Palico stuff, get it ready. My Palarang for example. I'm going to grab this water moss, maybe send out my cat while I'm here, and then fire one into the ground. Latch onto Brachidios' face, which will start the raw animation, but give you enough time to flint shot, which will then send it flying into that rock and drop a flashpoint slime as the shiny and some slinger ammo. I usually rush to the face and then plant two mines and melee away. Oh. Uh, now you can see my cat's doing mountain plunder, so I usually ping to get it off and then just tell it to do palerang instead because I actually want materials. Okay, there we go. Palerang done. Uh, Plunder Blade done. So it's ready to move on to part two. I'm going to grab myself some Slinger Ammo. Going to grab the shinies that it's dropped from the Palerang and from the uh, the Flashpoint Slime right at the start. Because why not? And I'm going to... I'm going to uh, flinch shot it into a wall again. Sorry. I'm doing... I'm recording this live. So it's <laughs> having to react on the spot. I, I do wish Bracky would fucking chill out though. It's awful. <laughs> Now, generally, you can flint, you can uh, flint shot from anywhere, and it'll hit a wall because <laughs> it's just so big. But anyway, once it's on the ground, uh, I like to pepper it with stickies. Now, stickies will do a fixed amount of KO damage. It doesn't matter if you have attack up or not, although it is affected by slugger, of which I have a little bit. Now, you can see it doesn't take many sticky ammo to uh, to knock this guy out. Uh, while he's down, I tend to pepper him with more stickies because I'm trying to just break that pounder on his head. Uh, anyway, now that I've got my two flint shots out of the way, the next step is to put it to sleep. Um, now, by this point, I've usually, like, broken its pounder already, and I'm, I'm game to basically abandon. However, I thought I'd just show you the full suite of tools you have. There we go. You can see it only took one bullet because my palico's been doing sleep damage with its weapon. Go and grab yourself some slinger ammo. Now, at this point, you have a choice. You can just wake it up by flinching onto it um, and popping it into the wall. Alternatively, you can place out some bombs. You can uh, pop on your whoops. Well, okay, pop on your rock steady mantle. Uh, I like to put out one, two, three. Maybe combo up some sticky ammo too, and then punch away. And by this point, you absolutely should have broken the um. You should have broken the uh, the head, but if not, you can grab on and flinch shot and not mess it up like I just did. Uh, but yeah, you get the idea. You can put it to sleep again. You have more than enough sleep ammo to do so, and you should have brought the combines for more. And you should have brought the, uh, the combines for more bombs too, in case you needed them. Uh, and yeah, so that's all there really is to it. Now, by the time that you've done all this, you should hopefully have your Palico stuff back. You can see my plunder blade's back, so I'm going to get it to plunder blade. Oh, well, he's left the area. Normally, I'm quicker than this. 
Um, but uh, yeah, at this point, I'm probably just going to reset. However, I will show you something. Again, I'm trying to show you all the all the tools you have access to right now. So I'll quickly forecast back to camp. And just sort of show you something that you can use in case you die. You can see right now that my Palico has Plunder Blade. The, the respawn timer has just started on it. If I go into my base camp and I come back out, that doesn't change. It's still at the exact same point. You can see it's still loading up. However, if I go into base camp, and I talked about this before when doing Safi Jiva, um, if you go into your Palico equipment, swap out the Plunder Blade to something else and then swap back to the Plunder Blade straight away, when you head out, you will have access to Palorang again and Plunder Blade again. The, the, the timing has reset, basically. And so if you really want to, you can spam Farcast, reset Plunder Blade Palorang. Um, once you've broken the head until you think you've got enough. However, from what I can tell, the Palicos have an internal buffer of four items. So, and by the point that we've gotten to now, from all the hunting that we've been doing, you'll see as I return from quest. The cat probably has already got three or four items, so it's not really that efficient. In my opinion, two Palarangs and two Plunder Blades is, is about the right amount to go for. Um, and so you can see... By breaking the head, I was able to get a warhead. This can also be uh, one of those immortal reactors if you get lucky. The Palico has three items, which can be ebon shells and obliterators. Um, and so, yeah, between them, you've gotten everything that you need. Uh, Flashpoint slime came from the shinies that we've been picking up. Also, the cat can get them too. And so this overall provides a sort of uh, comprehensive way to get every single material that you'll need for Brickidios parts for, for your armor and for your weapons. Now I'll do the run again, but I'll show you how it goes when you're sort of running at full speed. So I'm actually going to try to go fast this run. Um, so the commentary might be a bit shy. <laughs> Sorry about that in advance. Oh shit. <laughs> ah, whatever. Doesn't matter. I have just realized I'm not commentating at all. Um, uh, anyway, you get the idea. Maybe I'll dub something over in post. I'm getting troops. There we go. Shoot, I've got to. Uh... There we go. So I've broken the parts that I wanted to break. Now, at this point, I tend to far caster back. Um, as I showed you, I like to reset the Palarang um, because the loading time on this quest is so long that it that it like if I was to quit right now, it wouldn't be sort of worth the bang for my buck. So I like to go into my cat and get another Palarang and Plunder Blade done before leaving. Um, you notice that I didn't bother using any sleep ammo or any bombs or any mantles or anything because I'm lazy and I have a fairly up to my set. But again, I've showed you those tools and you're more than welcome to use them if you need to to get the uh, the rest of the damage done on its head. Oh. Did not know you could come to me back here. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ, leave me alone. I just want the shiny dude. Uh, yeah, what was on my agenda now? Uh, I wanted to grab the shiny that I got when I flinch shot it the second time. Don't forget that one. Uh, and then I want to force my cat to uh, do its business. You can also call the tail rider in if you want. I never get items from that, but maybe it's worth. I don't know. There we go. All right. Oh, it dropped slinger ammo. Okay, well that was a bit of a waste. Normally it doesn't drop slinger ammo. I don't know. I don't know why it's dropped its slinger ammo. Let's just see what we got. Shiny wise, three flashpoint slime and a shell. And if we uh, return from quest now, because we got all that we needed, it took me a bit longer than it should have. Uh, I think partially because I was sort of bending over backwards to try and explain stuff. So sorry about that. But uh, yeah, we'll just see our rewards and we'll call it a day. This video is slightly less scripted than the rest of them. Uh, again, we got a warhead. We didn't get an immortal reactor, but they are quite rare. You can see it took us about three and a half minutes. Normally, it takes about three minutes, but you know, whatever, close enough. Ah, and two shells. We got a bit unlucky with the plunder blades. Normally, the cat will plunder blade on its own once, um, whereas for us, it only did it twice. So we gained two shells from the cat, one warhead, one shell from the shiny, and three flashpoint sw slimes. So that was one, two, three, six, seven. So that was seven parts. That was fairly quick, wasn't it? We got seven parts there over the course of three and a half minutes, and that's easy to repeat. We got a mixture of shells and flashpoint slimes. You will get obliterators from the cat. You will get uh, immortal reactors from breaking the head. 
Uh, maybe I'll put in some images of where I've got that to happen or something if I remember to edit. But uh, I think that basically covers it. Use your stickies, use your flint shots, use your sleep, use whatever you need to use, your bombs to uh, break the pounder. Meanwhile, you'll be using your Palico's uh, Plunder Blade and Palo Rank to try and rack up shinies and drops. You can also reset the Palico equipment by warping back to camp and doing as I showed. Yeah, so that basically sums it up. Hopefully that makes sense and you manage to get the parts that you need to make the armor as soon as possible. Good luck. Take it easy. Bye-bye.